simplify as a private and he's studying things and see what other guys are doing, see what other uh, early, younger sergeants are doing, see what they're doing, see how they're doing things, see what the enemy is doing. He's looking at the weather, he's looking at the, the uh, terrain, uh, uh, he's looking at the situation. In other words, uh, if the enemy is larger than you are, in, in, almost, in, in almost in all cases, the, you, you're fighting an enemy that's larger than you. Uh, okay, how do you fight an enemy that's larger, larger than you? Attack him on his weak side. And, and so this becomes a strategy. Study the enemy, look at his weak side, and attack him on his weak side. You know, these kind of theories. Uh, basic ground theories. Uh, Keep the sun to your back and keep the sun in the enemy's face. You know, at high noon the sun is in the enemy's face and, and so you, th this gives you some kind of advantage. Uh, the glare of the sun and, and this give you, gives you an advantage. Over a period of time, a military person would, would, uh, would, would, would could, could, could and would and should uh, and often would uh, uh, put this into his strategy. Another thing, know the enemy. Take time before you fight the enemy. Go and study the enemy. Where does he eat? Where does he sleep? Uh, how does he prepare? What kind of weapons does he have? You know, how does he employ his uh, artillery? It, how does he employ the infantry? How does he employ his cavalry? That's a very primitive cav cav cavalry or or very complex, complex cavalry or whatever. <clears throat> How does he use his, uh, uh, the materials that he have available and, and, and so forth and so on. The weather, is it better to fight a war in the winter or is it better to fight a war in the spring? Is it, where's my water source? Where's my food source? You know, uh, what, what, what happens when it rains here a lot? Are we in jungle? How can you use the forest for you, to your advantage? We'll use a couple of examples that Sun Tzu would do. Uh, if, if your enemies have a lot of arrows and he's shooting arrows at your forces, maybe if you hide your forces in the forest, then the forest will break the uh, trajectory of the arrows. In other words, the arrows will hit the trees and the leaves and all this, and, and you can save your forces by putting, put, putting them in the, uh, the dense forest if it's available and you're, uh, you, you're uh, protecting your, your forces from, uh, say, arrows. But in the same sense, if you're fighting on a semi-arid uh, condition where you have a lot of dry grass, you know, and the enemy is, is, is coming forward and the wind is blowing towards the enemy, maybe if you light the grass on fire, you know, uh, maybe that, 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 that can suppress the enemy, the, the, the fire and the smoke and all this going towards the enemy, uh, the, the, the larger force, the larger enemy, then this will, this will help you. So 